Boeing 707 jetliner built up speed under full throttle. From home base, BOAC was blazing another trail. A new trade route to distant places. From London to Japan, the quick way over the North Pole. With England a dwindling checkerboard several miles below, the course for the east was set, due north. In their pressurized comfort, the customers relaxed as the high-flying jet cleaved through the stratosphere towards the roof of the world. This was Britain's first same plane service from London to Osaka, a flight into the history books of British aviation. Down there it was bleak, cold, uninviting. On board it was very different. Already the influence of the land of the rising sun was apparent. Specially trained Japanese air hostesses saw to that. So, with Anchorage, the first stop, a few short hours away, passengers enjoyed some of the high life that comes as standard for the fair-paying public, what you might call cuisine of the clouds. Most of the 4,500-mile first leg from London, up and over to Alaska, had slipped uneventfully behind. That was Mount McKinley down there. Men have risked their lives, some indeed have died in their efforts to reach the North Pole, that mysterious point that caps the world. Snug in their personal temperature control capsule, passengers and crew had journeyed north easily. There'd been nothing unusual to see, no feeling of anything different. Modern technology combined with months of planning had smoothed the polar flight path to an event that only a certificate could prove an adventure. The first hop was over. This was Anchorage, seaboard city of the 49th state of the United States. There was a warm hello in this pretty cold place, a land of snow, Eskimos, and those ring ding days of the gold rush. Anchorage, flourishing city of skyscrapers and modern motorways, welcomed the polar pioneers. For the passengers, there was plenty of evidence of modern achievement in their first touchdown. Not up to jet set standards, perhaps, but the snowmobiles proved a fast and efficient way of scudding across the Alaskan ice packs. But for some, dog power was irresistible. Here was a romantic reminder of the pioneering past for the 20th century adventurers to savor. The old and the new. The polar flight was on its way once more, speeding over the snow caps to new horizons. Next stop, Tokyo, a mere three and a half thousand miles away. Britain had established a new route. The BOAC Polar Service was knocking eight hours off the old route across Asia. For businessmen, the three times a week service would mean a flight to profit, a high-speed cruise into the rising sun and the bright lights of Tokyo. Now, for tourists and traders alike, Japan's bustling business hub was under a day away from London. So too was Osaka, major manufacturing center and site of the next World Fair, just a pole vault away. <laughs> 